So we have talked about plotting quadratics. Did we plot a quadratic? Yes. And this is what we got for y equals x squared. We remember that. And I mentioned we will never plot again. We'll only sketch. So to sketch quadratics, we need to understand what happens to the graph if we do things. Like what if we multiply x squared with a number? What if that number is negative? What happens if we take away a number and then square it? What happens if we have x squared and then we plus or minus a number? So these are all the transformations that can happen to a parabola. Once we understand what happens, we can sketch any quadratic. Okay? So has everyone got y equals x squared on the CAS? CAS out. Everyone should have y equals x squared sketched into their CAS. Is that the case? Perfect. What is the turning point of that parabola? Zero, zero, comma, zero. Whenever I ask you for a point, whether it's a turning point or x-intercepts or y-intercepts, we need coordinates. Is that clear? Yeah. Now, what we're going to see is we're going to see what happens if you multiply x squared with a number. So now I want you to enter on the same graphs page y equals 2x squared. So when you have f2x, enter 2x squared there on the same graphs page. Press tab if you can't see the blinking line. So sketch 2x squared on the same graphs page on your CAS. And then tell me what happens. Does the new parabola get is smaller, wider or narrower? Narrower. Perfect. So everyone should have something like this on the screen. Y equals 2x squared. Is that right? You can also sketch y equals 3x squared. Do that now. So 3x squared now. See what happens. What's the word? Narrower, not smaller. Does it get even narrower? Yes. Perfect. Now, eyes on the board. Cast down. Is it safe to say that if we multiply x squared with a number, cast down, eyes on the board. And if that number is greater than 1, so was 2 greater than 1? Yeah. Then we had 3x squared, was that greater than 1? Yeah. What happens? The graph gets narrower. Narrow. Is everyone happy with that? Yes. Did the turning point change? What was the turning point of both y equals 2x squared and y equals 3x squared? Zero. Exactly. Zero. So this is called dilation. When the graph just gets narrower or wider, we'll see what ha how will it be wider. But nothing else is, it hasn't shifted left or right or up or down. It has just stretched itself or compressed itself. So this is called dilation. Now let's see what happens when A is still a positive number but less than 1. Can someone think of a positive number greater than 0 but less than 1? Remember I'm allergic to decimals. Well done. Sketch half x squared please. So everyone, so control divide, 1 over 2, x squared. In your cast on the same graphs page. So A is still positive, but less than 1. What happened? Do you want to explain it? The graph became wider. So did this happen? Yes? Uh, yeah, the colors are so that you can differentiate. Now, did the turning point change? Cas down once you've sketched all of them? So I know everyone's done. Okay, shush. Cas down if you've sketched it, eyes on the board. So is it safe to write then, if A is greater than 0, that means it's a positive number, but it's still less than 1, what happens to the parabola? It gets wider. Which one is A again? The number multiplied with x squared. So if it's 2x squared, A is 2. If it's 3x squared, A is 3. If it's 1x squared, A is 1. If it's half x squared, A is half. So if the number you're multiplying x squared with is greater than 1, the graph gets narrower. If the number is positive but less than 1, the graph gets wider. Did the turning point change? No. Question? Alright, now. I want you to delete all, please. So menu, actions, delete all, because it will get too messy. <coughs> Excuse me. Menu, action, delete all. Delete all the graphs, and now just have x squared again. So put y equals x squared graph again. 
just put x squared again. Actually, yeah, so just type it again. F one x equals tab. Press tab. If you can't type it in, press tab. Good. If you can't type it in, press tab. So do we have x squared again? Yes. So you should all have the parabola. Now, we are going to multiply it with a negative number. So I want you to sketch y equals negative x squared. Now, and then I want you to describe to me what happens. Down, down, prices are down. <laughs> what happened? Can someone explain to me what happens? Going down doesn't really make sense. Symmetrical at the bottom, okay. Yes. Went negative, okay. It got reflected. Eyes on the board now. So, eyes on the board. Screens down. Why do you have a laptop screen on? I have no idea. Right. Now, this is what the y equals x squared looks like. Same width. So, so I tried it to keep the same turning point, didn't change. But the graph got reflected in the x axis. Can you see if the x axis was mirror? Was the mirror? Isn't this graph a reflection of y equals x squared? As if the x axis was a mirror? Yes. So the correct term is, don't write, it got flipped. I'm not going to give you marks. The graph got reflected in the opposite x axis. Yeah. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. So x axis is the mirror. This was the original graph. Its reflection is now what we're seeing if it's a negative. Mirror. So what's it called? Reflected in the yeah. x axis. Yeah. Yeah. Are we clear on that? Did the turning point change? No. no. So remember, y equals x squared, we had the basic shape, which we call the parabola. Turning point was 0, 0. Multiplying x squared with a number makes it narrower or wider. Okay? And if that number is negative, it makes it reflected in the x-axis. Now sketch negative 2x squared for me, please. Can you predict what will happen before you sketch? So it's negative, but it has 2 okay, in front of it. Narrower. narrower and reflected. You guys are so smart. I Check if you get that. So negative 2 x squared, you've got the reflection with the minus sign, and you've got the 2 which makes it narrower. So narrower and reflected. And it's orange. I did it. And it's orange. No, mine's the cast will just have a few colours. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the other side of the board and talk about some other translations.